Aloha! Um, I hope you're staying sane during this period of crisis and social distancing and self-quarantining and all that jazz. But I just wanted to quickly hop on and highlight the silver linings of coronavirus. I feel like the news as well as social media um, is focusing on price gouging, uh, people dying, insider trading, government secrets, um, and don't even let me get started on the conspiracy theory YouTube channels. Um, so there's a time and a place for that and we all have to stay informed, but um, I just want to highlight um, we're just in a time where things are changing so fast and lots of positives are coming from it. And so in case um, like the noise of the negative has drunk that out, I just want to speak up and highlight the positive. So one of the biggest positive silver linings I've seen with this coronavirus crisis is it's held up a magnifying glass of society and you can really see who people are at their core. And what I'm seeing is there are a lot of good people people are being more generous and more compassionate right now than ever before. Like it's Christmas and Black Friday on steroids, but minor the consumerism. Like, you know how Christmas should be? Like the time of charitable giving and love and compassion and community. Um, so that's how it really is now during coronavirus. And what I mean, and I was really touched and inspired um, by a handful of people, and I want to shout them out by name. Um, they are small business owners who have really stepped up to the plate and been heart-centered leaders during this time. So I'm going to highlight them um, in case you can benefit from what they have to offer, um, and then also to help them thrive and grow and reach more people. And also what these leaders have done inspired the creation of this channel you're watching right now. So this has been uh, like a snowball of silver linings from coronavirus. So I've seen these leaders step up and offer their gifts and expertise either free or significantly discounted right now. For example, um, a leader I know, um, an internet marketing teacher named Ramit Sethi, I'm obsessed with his content. If you want to know how to make money online um, or how to manage your personal finances, like Ramit is the guy, the guy. So um, he was one of the first coronavirus emails I got. I'm subscribed to a lot of uh, lists from teachers and coaches and things. And it was the most like well-reasoned, but also like very resourceful response to it. Um, and then over time, he decided to do these fireside chats on Instagram where he hangs out and answers personal finance questions. And I haven't gotten a chance to attend yet, but I want to. But Ramit's expertise is gold and he's offering it for free as an act of compassion. So I thought that was really beautiful. Um, and I'll try to see if I can find a link to it or something and throw it in the description here um, in case you can benefit from that. So I was touched by that, uh, but then the goodness just kept rolling in. Um, Jacob McMillan, an expert copywriter I follow, I have used his free content, his free resources to serve my clients. Um, and I have gotten like brave testimonials on my copywriting and been paid well for it because of um, advice I follow from Jacob McMillan's blog, his free stuff. So he's phenomenal. And I saw um, a, in light of the COVID crisis, he was offering his copywriting course for free to five people in need. So that contest closed already, but I was really um, touched and inspired when I saw that. Um, if you're new to like working from home or online business, courses are expensive as beep, um, but they are really expensive. I spent thousands and thousands learning um, how to make money online. So to get a free copywriting course um, with all that knowledge, you can start a whole new, like lucrative, prosperous life. And he offered it to five people in need for free. And on top of that, I had a copywriting question for him and I'm not even one of his clients or paying customers. And I asked him the question and he gave me a very useful, like one-on-one -on -one response via email. Um, and I thought that was like super boss, like compassionate boss. So, um, yeah, that's Jacob McMillan. He teaches copywriting and I thought that was beautiful uh, what he offered. And then on top of that, I know some good people. I subscribe to some good lists. Um, so maybe that's why I'm seeing the good side of coronavirus because I was already surrounded by goodness before this started. Um, then there's Lee Shulman 
who her content is just fantastic. She helps writers, like people who write books and write for magazines and things of that nature. Um, and her content is just so conscious and so compassionate. Um, I think she's like a mix of writing expertise and personal development. She's great. And I've emailed with her one-on-one -on -one and I see um, she's actually in self-quarantine now because she was traveling. So she's like very quarantined and she's offering free writing workshops a whole week of free webinars that she used to do in the form of paid retreats, but now she's doing them for free. I think it's live on Zoom. And I'll try to get the link to that if I could contact her in time um, and post it in the description. Uh, but Lee is like the real deal, sweet lady. Just She was a good person before COVID started. Like Lee is good people um, all the way around, but now she's really stepped up to share her gifts and expertise in this time of need. Um, and then lastly, but not least, Lucy Lynch, um, I've gotten a chance to go to her events before. She's a sound healer, um, a singer and an artist. Uh, she's out there offering donation-based sound healing, which is really needed now. Um, and she has a theatrical production called What's Your Worth? Um, a musical, it's like edutainment, it's like money education, but entertainment because it's a musical. And she's offering that um, donation-based online. And on Broadway, um, it would cost so much money. I think it was on Broadway to attend it. Uh, but she's doing the donation base because people are hurting now and they need something to uplift them. So I saw all these acts of kindness. It was like Black Friday but without the dark consumer side. It was like actual heartfelt um, how I think Christmas should be, as I was saying before. Um, and so I wanted to participate. I'm like, how can I you know show up and share my gifts and as much as I love copywriting and I'm really good at it I'm gonna keep it real with you guys copywriting is so labor intensive I ain't offering it for free sorry and no discounts and I do try to be heart centered but copywriting is just not the thing I'm gonna give the discount on so I'm like how else can I step up like Lucy and Lee and Rami and Jacob um and make this crisis um into like community and make it into something good and I've been told on Facebook from my Facebook fam that my content is really inspiring and uplifting and educational. Um, and that I just really um, shine light, just shine light uh, regardless of the season in the outside world. So I decided I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I have wanted to do it for a long, long time, but I was always afraid. What if my content isn't good enough? What if the trolls hate on me? And I like to talk about a lot of subjects. I'm like kind of like a renaissance woman. I know a lot about a lot of things and I couldn't choose a niche for my channel. Um, so I just didn't create, but now it's crisis. People need positive content, inspiring content, tips that will help them. So that's what this channel will be about. The niche will be um, a little bit flexible, like morphing, but it, I, I just, my promise is I promise it'll be positive and uplifting and hopefully educational. And this channel are started because of what I saw Rami, Lee, Lucy, and Jacob doing. So if they, if the, those leaders end up seeing this video, thank you guys. It's because of your generosity and your ability to step up and courageously lead during this crisis that I said, let me find my inner heart-centered leader. Let me step up and share my gifts to make this crisis better. So thank you. Um, and to everybody else watching this, um, I listed off a bunch of experts. I hope you um, can Google them. I'll try to get some resources in the description. If you want to take advantage, not in a predatorial sense, but you know, seize the day, take advantage of the generosity. Um, I recommend their books, their blogs, and you can take this tragedy, this crisis into a time of transformation and transform your life um, into doing something you never thought you'll be called to do. So that is my silver linings of coronavirus for today. Um, and there's more. I've seen so many silver linings amidst this and I will make separate videos about that. I also have already recorded tons of videos, how to stay sane during the coronavirus. I'm gonna do one on how to overcome insomnia, how to stay productive working from home. I've been working from home for three years now. So I have a lot of content up my sleeves, but for now, I just wanna say be well, be healthy. I love you. Love and light. Till next time.